All right, guys. So, uh, just want to show you guys a little bit about how to set up uh, Reaper and FL Studio and Notion all together, so you can uh, you can use all three applications and uh, send your MIDI data from one application to the other. Uh, so, what I'll be using here is um, uh, the uh, Loop B30 software to uh, get um, internal MIDI ports. Uh, so, you'll need to go to this website and download the uh, the corresponding. Uh, version, whether you're a Windows user or a Mac user. So uh, once you've got your uh, Reaper open with your template open, all you need to do is uh, a record. First, you need to open up the uh, Loop B30. So uh, just Loop B, find it, and then open up the trial monitor, and uh, it should come up like that. And you should see that each is enabled if they're not grayed out. So I've got uh, four ports enabled right now. And uh, then all you need to do is. Uh, configure your uh, sequencer, so in this case Reaper, to uh, recognize these ports. So I've enabled uh, internal MIDI 1 and internal MIDI 2. Now recognize that each uh, each of these internal MIDI ports has 16 separate channels, so this gives me a total of 36 instruments that I can pass between applications. So uh, now that that's finished, all that you need to do is configure uh, the input for each of these MIDI tracks uh, to the corresponding channel. So in MIDI 1, channel 1, channel 2, channel 3, up to uh, 16. Now that that's finished, all you need to do is open up your second sequencer, so in this case FL Studio, and uh, so all you need to do is add a MIDI out and uh, configure uh, the uh, uh, configure the MIDI settings so that each is map, uh, each internal MIDI port is mapped to a corresponding port number. These are different port numbers, by the way. Uh, this one inside, these ones inside FL Studio are completely different. So now that this is mapped to port 1 and port 2 in FL Studio, if I select port 1 and channel 1, you can actually hear something. So you see that? I can actually hear that. Now if I change to like port 3 or port 4, so you can actually hear that it's changing. So so now that, that, now that you know that works, you have to only apply the same concept um, and open up your other sequencers. So, uh, for example, now I'll show you how to get the notation working. So, just opening up Notion here, and uh, now all you need to go is a new score, uh, or use a template that you have set up. Oops. And uh, so, go to Special Staffs, Basic Staff. Now you need to go to configure the MIDI uh, within Notion and go to Preferences. And uh, so, go to MIDI and select the uh, internal MIDI uh, 1 to 4. Now, by default, these will be set to none, so you need to make sure that these are set up so that each, uh, whenever you send to port A, which is just like port 1, port 2, and port 3 in FL Studio, uh, you send to these MIDI, uh, MIDI internal MIDI ports. So now all that needs to be done is uh, you go to your staff settings and uh, you go to external MIDI and configure it. So port 1, channel 1, and uh, you're done. So all you need to do is uh, exit this and uh, test it out and you will actually notice that you hear things. So it's pretty straightforward. You get notation, you get everything in one, and furthermore, you can um, you can render to stems uh, with uh, Reaper's functionality. And uh, in fact, if you wanted, you could just record uh, arm all have all these record armed and have some sort of melody you want to play, or you've composed in say Notion or FL Studio. Just record it, and it should actually show up. And you can deal with them even if you want in Reaper. Say if you feel more inclined to do that. So it gives you a lot of power in terms of flexibility and uh, the way you want to work. So hopefully that helped, and if you have any questions, uh, be sure to...